Um, it, what, what's interesting about about information types and SharePoint is that you know that that Microsoft has created the construct of of content types, which are essentially uh, information types, um, as a sort of central construct uh, within SharePoint. So, so what that means is that that they became the the, the organizing. Um, um, entity uh, for all of the SharePoint implementations um, around content. Um, and so what they've done, of course, is, is define a series of metadata that, um, typically, um, that are typically associated with a content type. They assign, um, um, they, they build um, workflows off of, uh, off of content types. Um, and they um, and and they they begin to move information around SharePoint, you know, in terms of specific content types. Um, so, so the older notion of folders and um, you know and, and other sort of organizing uh, mechanisms um, are, are largely going away, and uh, and it really just enables the the whole host of functionality that's offered so, by SharePoint. So it really becomes the, um, the 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 basis for all of the analysis work that we do. Um, in, in terms of of, the, of looking across all of the different content, the types of content in, in organizations, and beginning to characterize it, um, the, the uh, in terms of information type, the, you know, the, the the task of course becomes um, uh, the, the, getting those those information types or those content types absolutely right, and striking the balance between between you know a good amount of specificity. Um, um, but but keeping them broad enough that you know that that they can reach across the organization. Um, so so um, uh, they need to be recognizable by by uh, u by users uh, throughout the organization. They need to be um, uh, you know mutually discreet in terms of you know not a lot of overlap. So that when a user looks down the list of in of information or content types, they can zero in on the, just the one that they need. Um, if there's ambiguity there. Uh, the whole thing just sort of falls apart because the user can't decide which content type to use, um, and you know, and it begins to sort of reject the system and question the system. So, um, so both from a functionality standpoint, uh, in terms of, of how of how the configurations in SharePoint are done, as well as from a user standpoint, you know, these things become the critical thing, and, and it's actually where um, where those two uh, those two pieces come together.